ideally, you know, you want to get paid fully sponsorship for surfing, but um, that's not the case these days. Like, uh, the, the money's not, the money's kind of running out in surfing. But it's not the be all of end all. I'd rather get better waves and have some money, you know, and uh, and have a nice family and a family life. But in order to do that, you need you need money. So you got to kind of sacrifice some things and yeah, and get out there and make some work. Well, I think everyone's heard a story or two about Maruba and probably most of it's true. And growing up here was pretty tough. It's not the not the richest of areas, you know. It was a place where you kind of had to kind of defend for yourself and uh, try and try and make a living, try and get out of the bubble and travel as much as you can and surf as much as you could. So when we were young, we were always kind of competing against each other in a, in a friendly way, but always with a little bit of rivalry, uh, just to uh, just to be someone, I guess. It's it's hard out there. It's like it's like any place really. You can either go down one one hole or the other, you know. Since having your first child, it's a massive change, a really, really massive change. Like, uh, if there's a swell down the coast, you, you know, it's not like you can just pack up and go. You have to plan. It changes your life, for, definitely for the better. Like, uh, I used to party a lot and and all that crap that it goes with it. But um, she just she just leveled me, leveled me down, you know, which is which is good. You kind of need an even balance. I was a carpet layer for about 10, 12 years, but now I'm trying to branch out into doing a bit of construction work, um, just kind of uh, gutting houses and trying to do them up a little bit. Laying carpet was was a bit hectic on the body after a while. Just the financial side of it as well, you know, we thought, uh, see if we could kind of get into that market and just kind of gut houses and give it a crack. Got to sacrifice a few things and, and, and work a bit more and then sometimes you, you might miss some swells because you have to work and you got a few people that you got to take care of. Yeah, you can't just take off and go surfing if there's waves, which, which you used to be able to. But yeah, that's life, I guess. It's definitely good to see that the community's changed much more family orientated. Us as a community, we're heading down the wrong path and um, it's good now that you can see that a lot of the people like Mark and Richie, they're doing a lot of, lot of good stuff for the young kids, just doing good stuff for the, for the community. Back when, when we were young, we didn't have that, you know. We're not getting paid, obviously, massive amounts of dollars. We're doing it for the fun and for the thrill of it. We're in it just because we get a thrill out of it, we get a rush and, yeah, I can't see us doing anything else, really. You gotta live a little.